So I just read my third book, three, third book, um, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, I only read this book, Wall. I picked the book up because Emma Watson is going to play Sam in this book. Super, super excited now that I've read the book and know how the like, movie is going to be. I think Emma Watson is going to be a great Sam. But aside from that, this book is written in a series of letters, basically. Um, this kid Charlie basically writes letters to his friend that he's never met before. Um, he creates the alias of Charlie and kind of, it's it's weird to explain. He's, he starts out his freshman year of high school, but he's 16 and then he ends up getting his license that year too, so I really don't understand that, how he's 16 and he's a freshman and confusing. But, um, you definitely see his, like, his writing grow and from the beginning of the book to the end of the book. Um, he definitely grows up, um, in terms of writing style and everything that he goes through. Um, this book covers everything that a teenager would even go through, sexuality, um, crushes, dating. He's definitely a wallflower, which is how I related to it, though not quite in this extreme as he is, um, Everybody needs to read this book, really. Like, read this book. It's so good, and I need somebody else to read it because the ending is enough in itself. Just read the book so I can talk about you with the ending and just... Ah. Oh, don't get annoyed, though. Warning, spoiler alert. Freaking kid cries about everything. He's so emotional, so make sure that that doesn't piss you off and, like, you're reading the book or something because he cry that's all I was thinking about oh he's crying again he's 16 years old he's a boy why the heck are you crying so much but that's the only little downside um so good I ah the ending ah read it um I'm reading Ender's Game now I picked this up because I heard it's like the Hunger Games and the Hunger Games is probably one of my favorite books so reading that now that is my fourth one have a good day